Tonight is the season finale of the evidence room from the mass murders at a Houston arcade to body parts found in Galveston Bay. KPRC 2 investigates has unpacked the horrors of the Houston area's most notorious crimes in the hit show. The award winning true crime docu series third season wraps up tonight here to chat about tonight's episode and the overall response to the series is KPRC 2 investigative reporter Robert Arnold, investigative producer Andrea Sladen and our director of KPRC 2 originals. Anna Lostra. Thank you all for coming in. This is a special treat. This is. This is great. I was, it's great. I'm glad to have everybody here. And this isn't even our whole team. No. I, know. I mean, I still feel bad. I mean, there's Adrian, there's John, there's Bill, there's Jason. I mean, it takes a lot to put this so together. So much talent. Yeah. So much talent. I want to start with you, Robert. Sure. About tonight's episode. The Acres Homes murders. Yes. So this was 2006 in the Acres Homes area of Houston. You had a series of murders and sexual assaults. And it utterly and completely terrified mm. that community and police were like, I believe we have a serial killer on our hands and they formed a task force to look into all these sexual assaults and all these murders. And in fact, we pulled an old news article from that time to give you a sense of what that neighborhood was going through. And I think we have mm -hmm. some sound from that right now, right? Mm -hmm. Crime scene after crime scene after crime scene. Reports of the so-called Acres Home serial killer on the loose had this community afraid of what he could do next. It was frightening because I have mother, daughter, and family in the area. For Merrick Burton, it meant a lot of nights wondering and worrying. When you have a rapist of that nature running around, you want to make sure that he's off the street so he won't hurt anyone else. Robert, what's to, this is crazy to think this was back in 2006, yes. less than 20 years ago. Being out there, what stood out to you most? how complicated this was because yeah. like I said police went okay we have a serial killer we're gonna form a task force but then when they started looking into it yes they did have a killer but it wasn't just one multiple predators had decided to attack women in this particular area and what was even crazier is none of those predators were working together mm -hmm. so you had all these different people out right. there attacking these different women and so it became just an incredible amount of police work that was yeah. required to piece all this together because every time detectives thought okay we've got it we've nailed it right. they'd have another attack and they're like wait the description's different now yeah. and so it was really amazing to hear the police work that went into this a major task to connect the dots mm -hmm. here meanwhile the entire community is on edge right well especially because nobody I mean they weren't all connected it yeah. wasn't like there was some pattern that they could right. follow or, or like, hey, like, don't do this because this could right. happen. It was all, it was a wild what, card. What impressed me the most and why I really wanted to do this is because this was a really neglected area yeah. of Houston back in 2006. And the women who were being attacked and murdered lived what they called high risk, high risk lifestyles. Yeah. There was prostitution involved, there was drug use involved. But the police in the community said it does not matter. Every life is important. Every life matters. This is a priority. And they made it a priority to solve these cases. Yeah. And that resonated with the community. Yes. What has the response been so far? Well, I just want to add, like, yeah. you inter he interviewed um, the detective mm -hmm. in that. And so you guys are going to hear a great perspective. I got a sneak preview the detective. Mm -hmm. yeah. last night. Um, and it's an incredible episode. We're trying a little different things. Mm -hmm. um, and so Robert, like, you see even Robert's, like, shock on his face right. in the episode. Um, so tonight, so taste Because we take you shot. actually out to the neighborhood. We're yeah. different. We're not in a studio. We actually go out there because mm -hmm. I, I, we all had talked. We thought it was important for this particular episode to show you what the area was like and still is in certain pockets. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And this is not the first episode the series has focused on in that area with, with crimes from over the years, right? Didn't we have another episode earlier in the season? Not uh, specific no? to not specific not, to Acres no, Homes. No. Acres Homes? Mm -mm. And not, not involving serial predators. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, the, let's go back to the response. Uh, we know the response has mm -hmm. been overwhelming with this series. Uh, what are you most proud of, Anna? Yeah, I, it's really cool. Like I'm in the comments on YouTube like all the time. Like they'll walk by and ask me questions, and I'm like I'm busy, and I'm literally <laughs> like just scrolling through the comments. Right. Um, but the response has been great. Like we've gotten a lot of great feedback from folks. Mm -hmm. um, some of it we've really taken to heart on kind of what we do. Um, and it's also interesting because like these cases, I think they're so, so easy to lose sight of the fact that these are real humans, yeah. right? Real people yeah. that are victims of these horrible crimes. And the viewers are quick to like come back and say like, ah, I remember that yeah. case. Like I remember being terrified. I remember feeling so sorry 
um, in the Ertman Pena case in particular, oh, like yeah. the comments in the, our YouTube channel was just, and our, our clip to Houston web story too, yeah. they were just like devastating. You feel the emotion in mm -hmm. those comments. It never ends. Yeah. I mean, that's the one thing, I mean, that's the one thing that you learn when you come across, I mean, the trial's over, the media yeah. coverage is we over. We move on. But it never ends for, for the families, families and yeah, the friends and the ones. people who were in these areas when all this was happening. Yeah, they have to live with that mm -hmm. every day. Yeah. And the Clara Harris episode that Andrea and Amy and Robert worked on um, last episode, they did, the comments are really fascinating as well because there's a debate That was going a very on. polar, it's still, all these years later, that is an incredibly polarizing case. Yeah. Comments are always my favorite section of going through. They can be seeing, dangerous. Like, but they see, I don't. I don't. See, I, I like. <laughs> I stopped looking at comments years ago because it was never. It was never like, Year hey, great Andrew job, you know. <laughs> I think that people, you get good yeah. opinions of what you know. For mm -hmm. the most part, you had to glaze over some of them. Yeah. But you know, mm -hmm. I like to. You get to see like what people really like the most or yeah. what they what stuck out to them and sometimes it does surprise us or mm -hmm. questions come up mm -hmm. oh yeah what about that person it's a really great way for us to also engage with the community and for the community to engage with us on these stories yeah because i'm in there responding yeah. to people yes. um you know i got comments from about the ertman Pena episode and i asked robert um same with amy on the claire harris mm -hmm. episode i'm responding to people and there's one woman that is a serial watcher oh. and she comments on every episode and I'm, I'm really trying to like and we appreciate her, her very much yes, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. yes. Yeah. <laughs> you know it is it's a really great way to engage it's a, it's a great way for us to get tips it's a great way to for us to address concerns um, I know with this uh, this episode mm -hmm. the season finale uh, there's a watch party going on well actually because of like we, she was saying it's so popular people like it we're having a watch party for that's next week. Next week. But starting right now, you can go on our website and you can vote for your favorite episode out of all of the ones we we've done. We have a bracket, right? People we have a can bracket. fill out. Yes, mm -hmm. it's narrowing down. And the winners of, or we'll have the insight, you sign up to be an insider, and mm -hmm. then the people who are chosen from that can come to the TV station next week. We're going to oh, watch cool. the episode. We're going to get to um, have dinner and kind of meet all of our team and meet one of the people who's really behind the whole entire thing. Um, you wanna? Oh, Rhonda. Her? Our favorite person. Oh, yes. 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 This is yes. really awesome. She, yeah. yeah. Rhonda. Not only will you meet these guys, but you'll have an opportunity to meet the woman who. Yes. Yes. Rhonda. So we we call it the evidence room, but yes. really it is the Harris County archives of trial exhibits. And so this is where in in Harris County is very unique in this in this sense that it keeps this archive of all these like really high profile cases, mm -hmm. the, the trial exhibits that were shown during these high profile cases there. And Rhonda is the senior, is the senior clerk who's over it all. And she's amazing because she's this great character. She's, she's funny, she's warm, she's a blast to talk with, but yet she is incredibly pinpoint in detail in how she meticulously keeps that archive. I mean, she knows where everything is, she knows where it's supposed to be, where it's not it's supposed to be. It's her library. Jason, yeah. Yeah. Jason Jason accidentally put a box back in the wrong place. Yeah, boy, did he, he hear did. from me. He, he got a text from Rhonda like immediately. You did not put that box back. So, That's so Jason. So, yeah. But she is very, very, She's. it's very impressive, her system, and how she keeps everything. How long has she been in this position? Oh, gosh. She was uh, in the civil archives times before. for a long time. And yeah. I don't know, maybe the last five years yeah. or something. Yeah, it's been within the last five yeah. years. She moved from the civil to the, uh, and she had to get it in order, too. I mean, she really worked hard to create her own system to get everything uh, in order. Because you have documentary companies from all over the world oh, yeah. that are that Reaching are coming out, in. Yeah. Oh, yeah, she'll text us. She goes, someone's from Canada <laughs> is here today. You know, it's amazing. It's kind of interesting. Whenever you walk into her office, you know, it's crime evidence right mm -hmm. but in the in in the little door to open in her little space she has it she decorates it for like every season oh yeah so she has oh like, yeah oh, gingerbread Easter men yeah. Easter like, bunnies oh yeah it's so great sweet. it's great kind of yeah it's it's really neat Rhonda Spinks is her full name yes yes for yes Rhonda Spinks. Uh, and I know our viewers mm -hmm. met her in episode one she right? was the very first yep. yes yes mm -hmm. way back when mm -hmm. way back well yeah. not that far well, back, not that far back. back. Kind of, we lost this in October last year it's not even a year in less than one year yeah Wow. I mean, 22 episodes. Yeah. Yeah, we're starting, we're like, man, we're going to run out of episodes. We're running out of crimes. Right. Go through. Oh. Well, we, we're going to hear from Rhonda actually right now. Let's take a listen. <laughs> they asked me, how can you do it? How can you sit in that room? It doesn't bother me. I don't know. Am, am I heartless or what? But it doesn't bother me. Oh, I've got a good one for you. 
Does Carla Faye Tucker ring a bell to you? That's her pickaxe. I had to cry out to God, let him know that what I'd done was horrible and that I needed forgiveness. Forgiveness for murdering a man and a woman with a pickaxe during a 1983 break-in. She murdered somebody and there's actual photos with the pickaxe still in the body. I didn't even know that till yesterday. She is historical because she was the first woman executed since like the 1800s or sometime. Civil War, I think you said, or something? Long time ago. But this shows you how old this case is, VHS and cassette. Wow, she's amazing. She's an institution. It's, it's like going back in time, though. Right. It really is. I mean, we had to... Uh, we had to we had to scramble for the Malibu Grand Prix because all they they had the the old three quarter inch tapes. Oh yeah! And thankfully, our engineers had one. Oh my goodness! Working one deck. machine. Yeah. yeah, because it's all there, and she'll tell you, you know, like you're going to need cassette, DVD, VHS, all that when you come in. But they don't have that, so it's like a scramble for technology yeah. uh, too to go. To well, the I guess the retro, yeah. uh, the retro technology. But she is she's awesome, and she knows the cases, so it's not like she catalogs. Them. I mean, she knows them. She yeah. she knows all the details. Yeah. Great at what she does. I also mm -hmm. saw her scarecrow, the decorations you were talking yes, about. Yes, yes, yes. On her door. <laughs> um, okay, so can we expect another season of the Evidence Room? Oh yeah, we're already we're already starting to. We yeah. we need to figure the next season out. Okay. okay. So okay. I think we're we're just debating on whether focusing on one crime spree or do we continue just to piece out different episodes from different cases. Do we go into other counties? Um, so hopefully viewers can send us notes, drop yeah. them in the comments, let us know about it. Yes, please, please. Well, I mean, if there's a case want, that yeah. you really stand cases, out, let yeah. us know, please. Yeah. Well, it has been a huge hit. Uh, it's fascinating to watch. And I want to thank you for letting me be part of an episode. Oh, yes, I was going to say, you, you yeah. launched your Z files. Yeah. I mean, that's great. It, you know, it's a work in progress, and mm -hmm. we're going to figure out how we move forward with that. We're going to have a few meetings uh, coming up in the next few weeks. But yeah, I think there's an appetite there, and I think that um, going on the, the heels of your success and what well, you've done. Their and success. I know. It, well, it's a team effort. <laughs> yeah. It's a team. And there are so many yeah. people who are not here this morning who have been part of this mm -hmm. success. And, mm -hmm. uh, a huge round of applause to you guys. No, thanks. It's yeah. been, it's, I've really enjoyed it. I mean, it's really been enjoyable. And we see that, you know, we mm -hmm. see you show up. Just like Rhonda shows up with that passion, mm -hmm. uh, we see the passion that you guys show up with thanks. day after day. So become an insider and go vote. Yes. <laughs> and listen, and becoming an insider, if you are not an insider, this is always my plug. It's, it's actually, it's free, but it's really, it's a cool opportunity to, uh, to take part in these types of things, but also to interact with us. If you have a favorite producer or reporter or anchor, you right. can follow them along in that news gathering mm -hmm. process. Um, we do events, we do um, competitions, right? We do, we do a whole plethora of different things. Mm -hmm. And so it's a really cool opportunity to uh, participate in. Yeah. Okay. Yep. Thank you guys right. for waking up early. No, again. thank you. We exactly. appreciate it. Remember, you can stream the Evidence Room season finale tonight. The Serial Killings of Acre Homes airs tonight only on KPRC 2 Plus at 6.30.